Hey guys, um, in this lecture, we'll be talking about the Karate tubercle. Okay, also known as a tubercle of what? Chasignac. Chasignac. Okay, and this tubercle is actually the tubercle of uh, the sixth cervical vertebrae. Okay, so that's why this lecture is termed the sixth cervical vertebrae. But under the sixth cervical vertebrae, we'll be looking at um, which uh, vertebra has the Karate tubercle. Okay, that's like a question that they could ask you. In an oral exam or a written exam, which vertebrae has uh, the carotid tubercle, also known as the tubercle of Chasignac, and you should identify this tubercle. So basically, the C6, this is like the front side of the C6, okay? But at the back, the C6, the C, the C6 has a tubercle that I'll call the tubercle of Chasignac, okay? So this is it, and, um, tubercle protrusions. Uh, you could see that um, the C6 on is like actually somehow unique, okay? So they call it uh, the Chasignac tubercle, okay? Or the carotid tubercle. So, the carotid tubercle is a bony prominence on the sixth cervical vertebrae. It serves, uh, for, serves as a landmark for the vertebrae, okay? Of course, when palpating on the spinal cord, once you go to the, um, you feel the Chasignac tubercle, as a good anatomist, you know that this is the C6 vertebrae, okay? So, it serves as a landmark for the vertebrae, that's the C6, and also what carotid arteries. It's also called carotid tubercle because the carotid arteries course around that side. Okay? It's also known as tubercle of Chesignac, okay? So now, um, the carotid tubercle separates the common carotid artery from the vertebral artery, okay? And it forms the apex of the coliscaline triangle this chasignac tubercle is the anterior tubercle of the transverse process of the sixth cervical vertebrae which lies lateral to and at a slightly higher level than the posterior tubercle okay that's it so now see going on the, the carotid tubercle or the chasignac tubercle we said that the carotid tubercle serves as an important landmark with respect to um, perform regional anastasia such as the brachial plexus and the cervical plexus block, okay? So if you want to actually um, do an, an, an anastasia, actually uh, get to some vertebrae, um, locate them and do an anastasia, you can actually locate the C6 tubercle and from there start counting down, okay? So uh, your knowledge of the vertebrae is supposed to be intact, see? Okay? So it is a firm structure against which the carotid uh, massage can be performed okay you can also massage the carotid artery around um, the tubercle so you also stand serve as a marker to determine an appropriate what surgery incision when performing what anterior cervical surgery so this is a c6 vertebrae okay and this is a process like we see that the process is what uh, the process is actually um, lateral, okay? Actually lateral, right? It's a transverse process, okay? It's not actually to the back, right? It's actually lateral, coming out, coming out from C6. Okay? So that's all we need to know about the carotid um, tubercle or the chasignac tubercle of the sixth cervical vertebrae, okay? So having all this knowledge, I'd like to close the chapter and see you guys in the next chapter. Uh, bye for now.